past lesson, you have learned everything about mixture. Now you know that mixture is a combination of two or more substances or compounds. Well, mixing things are very important to each and every one of us and to our daily needs, just like cooking. But on the other hand, there are a lot of mixtures around us which specifically needed to be separated in order to properly use and benefited by human. But why do we need to separate mixture? Way back to ancient times, people have separated mixtures in order to obtain the specific substances that they need. Let's take a look at these examples. Have you ever seen rice grains? Take a closer look and you will find other substances. Sometimes, there are small stones, seeds, grass, dust, and even insects. And you don't want this to get into your foods, that is why you need to find a way to get rid of these unwanted substances and be separated to your rice. On the other situation, in a barrio or a province, to make sure that the water is clean, people use clean cloth to filter the water. In this way, you can put away the unwanted particles from your water. Substances in different mixtures are usually separated from one another using a certain process or a method. These are the ways of separating components of mixtures. Now kids, sit back and relax. Let's get to know the ways of separating components of mixture. Number 1. Hand Picking It is also called physical manipulation or manual separation. This technique is used in separating the solid components of a heterogeneous mixture. The components of the mixture should be big enough to be seen and picked up by hands. Example, when you separate seeds and sand from milled rice, you use your bare hands. You separated the components through physical manipulation. Can you name other mixtures that could be separated through physical manipulation? Number 2. Decantation. This is a technique used in separating a less dense substance from a denser one. In the process of decantation, the mixture is left undisturbed. It can be done by simply pouring or scooping the less dense substance. Example, before cooking rice, you wash it first. You use decantation to separate the rice from the water by simply pouring the water and let the rice stay in the cooking pot. On the similar situation, when boiling a meat, the bubbles and all the unwanted things like fats began to float and I'm sure you don't want to get that in your food. So, you need to put the bubbles away on the boiling water by scooping or using a spoon. This method also involved decantation. Number 3. Filtration This is a technique in which an insoluble solid is separated from a liquid. It uses a filter like mesh cloth or a filter paper to separate solid components from a liquid. This process is used if you want your water free from soil particles. You can also use filtration if you want to separate sand from a mixture of sand and water because sand does not dissolve in water. Number 
Number 4. Sieving or sifting. Mixtures with big and fine components can be separated by sieving. Sieving involves using a strainer or a big screen to separate the components of solid mixtures. The strainer allows only the fine particles through it and prevents the larger ones. The sieving technique is also used in separating fine sand from rocks in the mixtures of gravel and sand. Another example of sieving or sifting is when your mother is baking. She uses a strainer to separate the fine and big particles of the flour or sugar. Number 5. Evaporation It is a technique used in separating a soluble solid from a liquid. You obtain salt from sea water by heating a salt solution. This method is used also by people who produce salt by evaporating sea water under the sun. Number 6. Distillation. It is a process of separating liquids from a solution. The separation technique is based on the differences of the boiling point of the substances in the mixture. In distillation, a mixture is heated. The substance with the lowest boiling point boils to vapor and condenses to liquid. It is collected as distilled water. Distillation is used in producing pure water, distilled water, or ethanol. Pure water can also be obtained from sea water. Water can be separated from salty water by simple distillation. Distillation works in obtaining pure water from sea water because the water evaporates from the solution and is then cooled and condensed into a separate container. The salt stays because it does not evaporate. Most homogeneous solutions can be separated by distillation. Did you know that the Philippines delicacy called lambanog is also undergone by this method? This is how it's made. Number 7. Use of magnets. Mixture of metals and non-metals could be separated using a magnet. Metals are attracted to the magnet while non-metals are not. In this way, the use of magnet is good in separating metals from non-metal. Use of magnet is also utilized in industries, especially in junkyards. They remove metal scraps from other materials using a big magnet. There you have it kids. We have studied the different methods or ways of separating components of mixtures. Are you ready for the recap? Please follow me. Number 1. Hand picking. Number 2. Decantation. Number 3. Filtration. Number 4. Sieving or sifting. Number 5. Evaporation. Number 6. Distillation. And number 7. Use of magnets. Now, you have learned the different methods or techniques in separating components of mixtures. How far have you gone, kids? Now, let's give ourselves a try with a bang. Let's go!